Today we ask the age-old question. Will it sloppy Joe? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. I've been meaning to ask you, how often do you like to get sloppy? <laughs> You've been meaning to ask I've me? I've been meaning to ask you. You've been, you're like, did you write it in your notes? I've been waiting for an opportunity. Uh, well, I'm glad that you ask. Um, I, you know I'm a neat freak. Yeah, so for me, I don't ever like to get sloppy. The only place that's worthy of sloppiness is the Joe. Ah, the yes. The Sloppy Joe. Uh -huh. I was hoping that you would say that. Sloppy Joes, they're sweet, savory, delicious masses. Uh-huh. And they're so good that no one has really changed the recipe until today, it's time for Will It Sloppy Joe? Now, for anyone who may not know, a sloppy joe is traditionally a sandwich consisting of ground beef, onions, tomato sauce, or ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, and other seasonings served on a hamburger bun. Your mom made a lot of these. She you were did. Telling I me. loved them. It was one of my favorite meals. I did not have a lot of sloppy joes, um, except when the lunch ladies made them. I like the lunch lady, Sloppy Joe, not as good as mom's. Uh, hopefully these are better. Uh, we're taking the tradition, we're breaking it up into tiny little pieces. Yes, case in point, you ever been to the Olive Garden enjoying yes. a nice shrimp Alfredo and think to yourself, man, this is some good Italian food. If only I could add a big helping of American sloppiness. Well, we've made that fantasy a reality with, when you're here, you're sloppy. Nicole, what did you do? Okay, so we got some ground shrimp, we got a ton of onions, we got peppers, we got garlic, we cooked it all up in some Alfredo sauce, we added some Parmesan cheese, a hefty spoonful of parsley, and lots of garlic butter. So, I would usually just do these open face, but I recognize, oh, really? I recognize the... Uh, well, that's normal, this way. Yeah. Because... Open face is not, it's too sloppy, man. Okay. I might make some slop over here. We might have to clean it up. Wait, you oh, want there I go. I did it. Up, Two, up, I up, did it up, again. Up, up. There you go. Oh, thank you. I won't be looking at that. <laughs> I mean, ground shrimp. Is that something you can buy or something you did? It's something you can buy. Really? But I actually ground it with my hands. Oh. Yeah, it's hand ground. Well, I use a knife and I chop it up into itty bitty pieces. But oh, I thought you like to use your nails or something. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. That's really tasty. That is tasty. Now, you love a good shrimp burger already. This I know. might be better than a shrimp burger. Well, I, the pieces of shrimp and the the texture is something I'm having to get used to here because this is, well, it's slop, but th isn't that the point? Yeah. I'll take another bite. Um, I took a few bites. I liked it a lot. It tastes very, very good. Mm. This might be a way to make Olive Garden even less classy, which is right. something they, may, they might be interested in. Like, what is a garden that's less classy? Is that just a, um, just a, just a, a field? A rock garden? No, I those think are I, actually pretty classy. I think it's just, this is at the olive field. And I think it's pretty good. Great, I would almost say. Yeah, excellent. Olive Garden Shrimp Alfredo, Will It Sloppy Joe? Yes! We wanted to create a caffeinated Sloppy Joe. Yep. And so we looked to Vietnamese coffee. Yes, we did. Hot water is passed through super strong, dark, and bitter coffee grounds and dripped directly onto condensed milk in Vietnamese coffee. You mix it together, you get a bittersweet taste that can keep you up for days. Can a Sloppy Joe do the same? Presenting, don't talk to me until I've had my sloppy joke. Nicole? Ooh, Nicole. What did you do? I call this one the coffee sloppy. <laughs> oh, you do? Oh, yeah. All right. You got your own name for it. <laughs> so we took um, some, we took the coffee grounds, we poured them through hot water, and we put it directly on the beef. We cooked it with some onions and some peppers. <laughs> there's some Worcestershire in there. There's a, there's a heavy, heavy pour of condensed milk, and then some coffee grounds on the top. Oh. We made homemade condensed milk buns as well with a little coffee wash over the top. Oh, wow. Yeah, so look. there's gonna be some sweetness in here. Now, what is the ratio? The, the You know, when you do, uh, in fact, I recently had a bite of someone's steak that they were eating that was one of those coffee. Rubbed. Coffee rubbed. Steak? And yeah. it was yeah. very good. So this is sort of a similar approach in flavor mixing. The ratios might be a wee bit different. More coffee. Yeah, keep an open mind when you take a bite of it. 
Yeah. Is it gonna crunch like I'm eating coffee grounds is what I'm curious about. It's not gonna be that crunchy. It's it looks very sloppy Joe-ish, which I like. How'd you get that? More so than so the shrimp. It's, it's talent, boo. <laughs> Dink it and wake it up. And sink it. <clears throat> you know, I was trying to clear my throat as a question. Mm -hmm. Did you notice that? Yeah. <clears throat> mm. Just how I like my coffee. Chewy. It's still beefy, which is helping me. But it is so coffee-y done. Um, the I, first taste like is the taste. really good. Mm-hmm. And then... You start wishing that there was a little less coffee. Hey. But that wish does not come true. I Yeah, I don't know if I could eat the whole thing. But I am How's the bun? The bun? The bun, the bun is nice. so, so good. The bun is very, very nice. I know, it, and it's a little- I am going in for another bite, though. It's tacky. You know what I'm saying? It's got that coffee tack. Um, what's the spice in there? Um, there's a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Mm. That might be what you're tasting. Oh, it's strong. I like that look. I, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of on the fence about this one. I know it's tough. It's tough. We took a second bite. Do you need to eat a whole sloppy three. dough in order to like it? Your bites are so little, man. What happened? Well, they're thinking bites. Hmm. I keep going back. I'm actually starting to like it a lot. I mean, what? <laughs> I like to get caffeinated in the middle of the day. This would be a good lunch. Don't have to worry about drinking the coffee. Two for one, mission accomplished. It does taste good. It's getting better. It's getting better. Vietnamese coffee, will it sloppy Joe? Yes! You may have heard the rumblings of what happened this past Friday. Good mythical evening, scary, sexy, stupid, happened. And if you didn't see it, or if you saw it and you wanna relive it, well, Good Mythical Evening is now available on demand for a limited time only. Go over to goodmythicalevening.com to relive the sexy, scary, stupid night over and over again for that limited time. If you dare. All right? Okay, we've had some inspiration from Italy. Yes. In Vietnam. Yes. Our sloppy Joe so far, but why don't we keep heading east on our sloppy little journey all the way to the land down under. Ooh. What do you get when you marry Aussie food to the sloppy Joe? Well, you get the sloppy Joey. Do you think that we decided to do this by starting with Sloppy Joey and then working backwards? I Maybe. certainly hope so. Nicole, what did you do? Are you guys cool if I workshop my Australian accent with you guys right oh, now? Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. All right, mates. Today we have fairy bread buns. We got some ground beef, onion, peppers, chopped up mustics, Vegemite, <laughs> tomato sauce, and we deglazed it all with Foster's beer. Hey, that's pretty good. Uh, hey, from, <laughs> I mean, Better than we can do. Musk stick? Yeah, there's. it's like this weird pink candy that has musk essence in it. It's quite offensive, but I think it might work in this because you know, it, it just kind of melts in and adds this perfumey deliciousness that works really well with the Vegemite. I don't know, try it. Okay. Musk stick was my nickname in high school. <laughs> okay, oh, they're pink. All yeah, right. they are. <laughs> Let, let's have it. <laughs> um, okay, you also said Berry ve bread. Ve Vegemite. So, I mean, Vegemite, is, it packs such a punch. It does, it really does. It's an intense flavor, you can't miss it. So far, you've been knocking our socks off. Oh, that's the feel of the fairy bread. I know. It's mm. like walking on the bottom of a... Uh... Keep going. It's a... The Great the Barrier Reef. <laughs> that is a big bite, man. <clears throat> it's crunchy. Huh. That beef has got some. The beef does a lot right of heavy there. lifting. You know? I, am I getting sticked with the musk? What's happening in my mouth? Oh, it's the Vegemite. The Vegemite's good, though. I don't like it. But I feel like it's the right amount. Like they love it, they put it on everything, right? Well, it's salty and I guess you can get used to it. Okay, I'm trying to change my face. Oh, let me try again. 
I like the way it mixes with the beef flavor. Incidentally, this is it's actually not bad. Good. In Australia, a sloppy Joe is what they call a pullover fleece or tracksuit jumper. Wonder why? Do you know that? Mm mm. So they're probably really confused right now. Uh, so, so they keep waiting for us to put on a tracksuit the whole time. So a Joe that's not sloppy, what is that? Just a shirt? Probably just a suit, a tux. A tux. A tux. That's a, okay. This is growing on me. Once I can, got can used I get to a, the, give it, do we have a the vegemite in I just want to get some yeah. of this beef. Just use your finger, by man. Itself. That's too sloppy. Come on. It's, too, it's I, a sloppy Joe. But I have to keep wiping my hands every time. <laughs> Thank you. A big spoon. Thank you for the serving spoon. <laughs> this is not great, but it's a fun gimmick. I think I just really like ground beef. <laughs> you know, I just feel like my my face keeps doing this. It scrunches, and I can't help it. I'm saying this is a no. This is a no for me. This is so much better than I thought it was going to be. I feel like we might have a mixed result here. Is that, is that a possibility? We can do that every once in a while, well, right? I, it's, it, it is a bit sloppy. Australian food, will it sloppy Joe? No. Yes. Last stop, China. Original land of chili crisp. Of course, chili crisp, the very trendy condiment made with chili oil and peppers, spices, and other things like garlic and onions. Yes. Once you start adding this stuff to your foods, Ooh. you can't stop. I mean, I'm even hooked on it. You are. And it's spicy. But something about it, it's oily. Ooh, I just, it's crunchy. It's chili and it's crisp. It's got crisp. all the things. Uh, but what if your food was chili crisp? Oh. We present Sloppy Spice. Wow. Nicole? Nicole, this is, yeah. this is thick. What did you do? I made a really spicy Sloppy Joe. Um, <laughs> We made oh chili chili crisp buns. We made oh. a mix of beef and just chili crisp. There's no other flavor in there other than beef and chili crisp. And then I added a big <coughs> heaping spoonful of chili crisp on top as well. Yes, I see that. This looks incredible. This bun looks incredible. This could be this could be a gift. Uh, to someone you hate? No, no, no. Oh. I feel like this could be good. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going for a it. A gift to oh. us from you. Oh, okay, cool. I'm you're going for it. You're really making us feel like you don't think it's good, but it can't be. It can't be that spicy. No, 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 no. Mmm. You immediately get that taste. Huh. Okay. <laughs> and it is hot. It can be that spicy. It's hot. It's spicy. <clears throat> oh, it's so good though, Nicole. But the taste is good. Oh, it hurts. Oh. It's a good hurt. It's hurting my mouth um, in places that normally don't hurt. Ay, ay, ay. I found a new spot in my mouth. Um, <sighs> something about the sloppiness. Ooh. <laughs> I want more. I want more. Ooh. It has made it, the crunch is a little hidden. Is it the beef that's made the crunch hidden? The beef might have made the crunch hidden, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Very astute. Oh. Has the beef made the crunch hidden? It's, bur it's burning my tummy. It's My like, tummy delicious. It's like something you you walk up, you go down an alley, you walk up to. I do want another one though. A little club. You <clears> knock <throat> on the door. The guy opens the thing, and you say, "Does the beef make the crunch hidden?" And then he lets you in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a password. Matter is that fact, Club Thirty Three? What is that? Like? We're gonna invite somebody to our club. Uh oh, that means we've hit the. T the what do we call this thing? <laughs> the third tongue. The third tongue. We call upon a man who says that he really <sighs> likes spicy stuff, but let's see how spicy he likes it. Chase. Oh, okay. Yeah, Chase, you're gonna help us figure out. I'm, a, I'm, I'm hurting a little bit, but it tastes really good. I'm nervous. Uh, there you go, Chase. It's, it's not the worst thing ever, but it's, I mean, I'm, I'm having heartburn, and I feel like I need to burp. It's, but it's I'm afraid it's to burp. Developing. I took some really healthy bites on the front. You mm -hmm. can have my backside here. Oh, thank you. Or do you want? I've been yeah. waiting. For you <laughs> or do you want my backside? Uh, I mean, uh, Red offered first, so I'll yeah, take I his. I okay. I'm no longer allowed to cook with chili crisp in the house because I accidentally put some on a burger and then flipped it on the, the skillet, and it kind of created like a oh, pepper bomb. pepper spray, basically. Yeah, and. Uh, yeah, the cat, dog, Sarah and I were all just like tearing oh, you, and coughing. You affected for the pets? The cat and the dog were crying. 20 minutes, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
So it will is, taste good. Do your worst. Take a big bite now. Come on, don't. Oh, there you yeah, go. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. I mean, it's good, isn't it? I mean, that thing. That is good. It tastes good. Now the spice will start. I think it's marketable. I think I'm gonna get the hiccups in a second. Though. I know. I'm sweating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The spice really start building on you. I want another bite. I know. Go, go for oh, it. But it's already in yeah, the back yeah. of my throat. I know, and it's gonna be in your stomach in a minute. Hmm. What? What is it? What is this? What is that? A band aid? That's a band aid. It goes all the way around your arm. <laughs> yeah, I pulled it from the the cabinet back there. It's just a, a long really band-aid. long band-aid. Right, I guess we can talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the longest band aid I've ever seen. <laughs> it's yeah. it, it's See? very spicy. It's it's on the like the the high end of what they would like actually serve at a restaurant. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like it's uh, much hotter. <laughs> Yeah, much hotter than this, and it would be like, who's going to order this? But I feel like it's re- it's riding that I, line. I do like it. But it tastes so good. I it's like still... It. <clears throat> it's still so tasty. Like, it's, it's right at that line where it's not like, no one actually wants to eat it. Because it really does taste good. Yeah, right. No, you. it's it's on the side that you want to eat it, right? Yeah. yeah he's Unanimous. Because it's too spicy. Chili crisp. Will it sloppy Joe? Yes! yes! All right, we did it. Was that a queen sweep? For me, it was. Not for me. You said you didn't like oh, the man. Australian one, but I it was I regret it now. If I had to do it again, I would have I would have liked the Vegemite just that much uh, more to make a queen queen sweep. Well, can't go back. No backsies. Can't go back. <sighs> Good job, Nicole. Thank you. I you, had a lot of fun. You know how to make it sloppy, and That's you're welcome good. to the seconds. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Right. Generous. Thank you for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Cameron. And I'm Autumn. And we're having the chicken fried cheeseburger from Will It Burger and... The Mythical Cookbook. And it's time, time to, to spin, spin the, the Wheel, Wheel of, of Mythicality. Mmm, that's some good eating. Click the top link to watch us play reverse charades again in Good Mythical More. And if I know where the Wheel of Mythicality is going to land. Weren't able to join us for Good Mythical Evening Live? Well, it's available on demand. Check out goodmythicalevening.com and watch this year's GME on your schedule.